Guten Abend zu unseren deutschsprachigen Freunden und willkommen zu Journey to the Chateau. Bonjour à tous et bienvenue à Journey to the Chateau. And of course now for our English speaking friends, welcome to Journey to the Chateau. This is our new vlog and this is about the, well, the Chateau furniture that we kept. We had a lot of um, comments and private messages saying, could you please tell us what you bought? So. Right, and we were contacted while we were in negotiations for the chateau. We were contacted by the chateau owners, mm -hmm. and they wanted to know if there was anything of uh, furniture in the chateau that we were interested in. Guess what we were? Yes. So we're <laughs> going to share with you the furniture that we got for the chateau. Have fun. So this is obviously the kitchen. We did buy this beautiful table, which seats, I think, 12. Um, it is blunt wood, it's old. We have no idea how old it is, but um, this family has used it for three generations. Mm -hmm. These are not all the chairs that belong to this table. They're kind of all over. Spread out throughout the chateau, yeah. Yes, and um, a lot of people have asked us about the plans for the kitchen. Um, we definitely want to modernize it, but we don't want a fitted kitchen in here. Um, we, th we think it, it needs to be more of a custom a kitchen containing antique pieces. Um, the stove, eventually we will need a bigger stove, but the current owners are leaving us uh, the old gas stove, the refrigerator, the dishwasher, the microwave. So eventually we would like to actually have like an eight burner, we have an, a six burner right now, an eight burner in the old fireplace and maybe next to it a little stove to heat, a uh, wood stove to heat the room. Uh, like, well, this one, I don't know, just, we just need to see. It depends on if, if it fits. Right, right. Uh, you know, how that, how that all works out. Right. And in, um, I think we bought the little cabinet where above it you find the rack with all the copper pots. Copper pots, pots yeah. yes. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure that we did. And that's just, a, I think it's a cabinet that has a green marble top to it. Mm -hmm. uh, as for the wall color, we would like this to be a bit lighter. Um, one thing that we have learned watching Stephanie Jervis's vlog is um, there was a room that was needed access to the exterior and she said she put in a, a French doors and it was one of the best decisions she has made. That is what we're going to do on the window in the back. So we have actual immediate access to the outside. And the floor of the kitchen is the only one in the entire chateau that's not original. So this has been uh, rehabbed. We think in the 80s, we, we didn't uh, really go into depth with that, but that is something that might we might tackle at some point, but there is no urgency. Right. Uh, right now, we're going to leave the the kitchen floor the way it is. We're going to have plenty of other projects that really need to, we need to work on. Yeah, we're going to just live in this kitchen as is. And as someone said, that just this let that let the the chateau speak to you while you live there for a while. And since it's not a ruin, it's uh, you know perfectly move and ready. And no one can disagree about wallpaper or outdated bathrooms, but none of this needs to be addressed immediately. So that's, we feel really blessed about that. In the dining room, we have, we did buy the dining table, which is uh, expandable. And, and also all the chairs that go with it. Yes. And if anyone knows what period this is, because again, we did not look at it very, very closely, but the patina is really pretty. And we did buy the, okay, I only know the English uh, or British term. It's the Welsh dresser at the back wall uh, with the plates in it. Um, I think that would be a very pretty piece of furniture for the kitchen. Uh, the lamp is included, although we do have um, a big uh, uh, antique crystal chandelier that most probably would look 
fantastic in this room, but we'll see. Right. That's just all open. Um, this is uh, one of the original floors uh, that's made of stern, stone of burgundy. It has just, I mean, it's from about the 1640s and it looks amazing. This is the Grand Salon and uh, I believe that we bought almost every piece that's in this room. Uh, I know we bought the complete suite of the chairs and uh, the, we'll show you other pictures, but there's a, a, a marble top table, uh, a game table, uh, some other pieces. Uh, the chairs are in uh, sets. One, it's a, th a set of three, a set of two, and then a single chair. Uh, the single chair goes with the settee that is in the center of the room, and also with this oddly shaped settee. Um, and I'm pretty sure some of you out there know exactly how this settee in front of the paneling is called. We haven't found it yet. Um, this beautiful chest of drawers, which is um, all mahogany with a marble top. We also get got the Louis the Fifteenth style vitrine or display cabinet, uh, which does not go with any of the other furniture. We love that you have this mixture of furniture and this uh, family uh, had uh, the chateau for a long time and the Empire, uh, Empire furniture is uh, First Empire. Right. So all the chairs, the settees, um, chest of drawers, and that little cabinet, as well as the marble top table, are all from the First Empire. So that started 1803 and ended... Uh, 1815. 1815, thank you. One of my favorite pieces is this Napoleon I Empire style cabinet. Some of the ornamentation popular during that time included eagles, bees, and stars, which you can see a star at the top center of this piece. Some of the furniture from this period also included clawfoot, which you can see at the bottom of the cabinet. Other decoration included uh, Roman mythology or Egyptian revival motifs, such as the heads at the top of the columns. Here's an example of another piece of furniture with similar motifs from the same period of the First Empire. In the hallway of the left part of the chateau, ground floor, two more dining chairs, or chairs that belong to the dining room right. set, and this, um, I don't know, Belle Epoque, uh, late 1800 uh, settee couch right. with a really high back and it, it, it's really it might some people might find it absolutely hideous i thought it was adorable so yeah, i'm not i'm just gonna say i'm not sure my feelings about it but patrick really loved it and so why not well you know i, I just had that image of of this being in one of the bnb &B rooms newly upholstered looking really pretty with a table in in uh, facing the fireplace um might not happen who knows, but it's, I thought it was quite cute. This is one of the rooms we are considering for uh, as a B&B &B room. And there are three chairs here that um, I, we liked. Uh, uh, two are against the wall, the, the pair. And there's one single chair on the right that is caned, and I thought it was really, really pretty and would be just wonderful for a guest room. The first thing we purchased in the largest and hopefully our second B&B &B room of the Chateau is uh, the green marble topped mahogany table. It's called a Guéridon, and I have no idea if I pronounce this correctly. I think it's a Guéridon table. Um, it's empire style and has acanthus leaves and lion's feet and in according to the, the definition of furniture, which I'm not a master of or even, even proficient, but I'm saying it anyways. So it has to be the Guerdon table, it has to be on one column with multiple feet or could be multiple columns as well, but um, often with a circular top and this is really uh, interesting how um, the marble is really 
it's, it's not a dull green marble, it's really quite pretty. And we were very, uh, and it has these little coasters underneath. So it's actually a, a piece of furniture yeah. that can be moved. Very practical. It's a beautiful table, yeah. Another piece that was in this room that we both really loved was the large armoire. Yeah, I, we, I think it's 18th, could be 19th century. Um, some of you might know that better. And quite frankly, we didn't investigate it or um, really stare at it for a while, which we normally would do, but um, it is walnut wood, beautiful patina, and might or might not stay in this room, but the height of this, <laughs> this, this cabinet of the armoire, it's quite overwhelming. When I stood in front of this and I'm tall, I'm almost 6'5", uh, and I had to really look up. It, it's great. Yeah, and you can tell when you look in this uh, in this room, if you look at the height of the doorway, and then you look next to it to see how tall that armoire is, it's it's big. And in, in the middle, the, the lamp is one of those things that doesn't quite, I think, fit in, in a big room like this. So um, we don't know, but uh, the hardware uh, for the curtains is not original. So we need to look for something there as well. And um, this might most probably be a room where there are gonna be silk curtains. Yeah. This is the bedroom that uh, when you come up the grand staircase and when you hit the landing, turn left. So then of course it's the right side of the chateau. And now I confuse myself anyways. In this room, the chair is included, and we did buy this bed because it's caned, and we really liked it. It's, it's uh, a nice bed. It belonged to the great-grandparents of the current owner. Um, and in this room, you can also see it is, everything there is original hardware. So this is the smallest bedroom in the chateau, and uh, some someone very astutely pointed out in comments of the reveal of the chateau that this reminded uh, it kind of looks a little bit like the chambre de roger at the chateau de la lande and in this room we did buy the empire sleigh bed uh it's it's going to be a single single room for friends or family visiting and we did uh purchase the chest of drawers which is very simple rustic country furniture very pretty one thing we would like to share with you is what's going on here in the United States. That sounds very global. No, just with us here in Woodstock. So, um, our house is still not listed for the simple reason we just had some cosmetic stuff to do. Um, however, our realtor has, um, well, put the our, our listing on a secure server that only realtors yeah, can it was some see. kind of a pre-listing that he did for for other realtors. Yes, it's right. all private. Right. And uh, so that was last Friday, and we had people coming, driving up our driveway, circling, because we have this, this beautiful long driveway and then a circular drive. Uh, they're just coming up, looking at the house, and stopping, looking again, and then leaving, which that's great. Um, so today I, I talked to, um, wonderful lady, Nikki, who is guiding us through this process. And, and uh, we, no one even has taken pictures of the interior of the house or the exterior. So, uh, but it's, it's listed. And I think we have four viewings for this coming Friday. Yeah. Um, no stress here, no. <laughs> uh, so it's, it's a, bit, a bit overwhelming. We are basically done with the cosmetic stuff, because I mean, th there's nothing wrong with, with uh, or that, that needs to be rehabbed in this house anymore, because we have plenty of time to do right, that, so right. that's done. But um, Stuart had had an interesting uh, little encounter about half an hour ago. I did, I was just outside <laughs> working, uh, because we actually have uh, some nice weather. Yes, oh my outside. God. Start, it's not suddenly freezing. we have like uh, nice spring weather. And so I did, was working outside and I had a car that randomly just came up the driveway and stopped and uh, was asking me, she said that she was a realtor and was wanting to know if she could come into the house and take a look 
uh, for possible uh, listings for people that you know may be interested in the house. And you know, <laughs> <laughs> no, not not right now, thank you. Uh, no, no we, so we have um, boxes that need to go to storage. Mm -hmm. We have boxes that need to go to the local women's shelter, mm -hmm. which is the sparrow's nest, mm -hmm. and boxes for Habitat for Humanity, uh, or not just boxes, I mean, stuff that needs to just go. Right. Uh, that's left over building materials from when we did um, rehab work, mm -hmm. which in itself, to be quite honest, is pathetic. I mean, we have this stuff for years. We haven't done drywall work in how many years? I don't know, four? Yeah. Five, maybe? Yeah. So, but it's still there. And it's, it's all good material, so we're just um, going to uh, donate it to Habitat for Humanity. Um, but this house right now is not, I'm mean, just looking around, sorry, <laughs> but it's not ready to be viewed by anyone. So um, this coming Thursday, we will have the photographer here. Right. Uh, and then somewhere uh, on Friday, this house will be on the market. It is way scary. <laughs> Just, yeah. I mean, it's, um, I sure it had a good point. It's, it's truly, uh, everything that we are going to pack is just stuff. So it's almost everything is replaceable. Mm -hmm. The one thing we are going to move with either eight or nine dogs. Um, there are companies that, that move animals for you across uh, countries or you know uh, from uh, the United States to Europe or from Europe to Asia, whatever. It's just um, having the trust that they treat the, our pets like we would. Right. That's, that's a, a bit of a that's stretch. That's scary, yeah. Um, we have some friends who said, well, you know what, well, we know uh, uh, people who are pilots and there are people who say, well, look, I, I have this, this friend who has uh, a private jet in a hangar. He uses it like once a month or one, every once every two months. Um, maybe you can get this at cost. So if you, have, if you know anyone who has a private jet that can accommodate nine dogs and the two of us, I take yeah, up most of the great. space, though. Yeah. I, I did take up most of the space. <laughs> no. Sorry, but so you know, just please contact us. That would be amazing. Yeah. Uh, but that that is basically what gives us sleepless nights because we can pack up this house in, I would say, a week. Oh yeah, yeah. Now that wine behind us, we can't drink in a week. So that will go to our dearest friends and our neighbors. Mm -hmm. Who some of our neighbors are also our dearest friends. Uh, so that, that's, because <laughs> that would be a week of blackout. So, that, uh, no, yeah, no, we, we just not call it age anymore. Uh, but so that's what's going on with us. Uh, it is a bit stressful. Uh, we just wanted to mention that there's a possibility that we may not be able to do a vlog every Wednesday. You know? Well, it's, so. it's most, it might be not a full vlog. Right. Uh, it might just be uh, like, an this is what's going an update, on. <laughs> an update about what's going on with us. Yes. And whatever it is that we do, we'll make sure that uh, we will let you know in our community site uh, what's going on with, yes. with our videos. And honestly, the encouragement that we have gotten from you is amazing. So we are so grateful. Thank you. Thank you. And bonjour. Goodbye. Thank See you, you next time. If you enjoyed this video, please use the like feature to let us know. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our Journey to the Chateau YouTube channel if you would like to see more. Once you've subscribed, you can tap the notification bell in order to ring it, which will allow you to receive all notifications from our channel. Thank you.